Boro no Azoro entered into a big controversy after chapter 1124, but was the swordsman right or wrong? Let's talk about it, don't go anywhere after the intro. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and before we get into the content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Well then, it's time for the video. Chapter 1124 of One Piece has bothered some people, mainly because of Zoro's words. Because Luffy was extremely sad over Vegapunk's death, Zoro said that Luffy is already a Yonko, and it's pathetic for him to be so upset over an old man's death. So was Zoro right? Or was he being a jerk here? I say that Zoro has always been the more rational one in the crew when it comes to, to strength and understanding their current situation. Zoro was the coldest during Luffy's fight against Usopp in Water 7. He was also the one who scolded Luffy after he lost to Caesar Clown, saying, We're in the new world now, Luffy. Don't let your guard down. So Zoro has always been the most rational in the crew, especially when it comes to the moment the crew is in. Zoro's perspective isn't bad, but in my view, he misjudged the situation. Let me explain. Indeed, Luffy is now a Yonko, and being sad over the death of an old man they barely knew, considering his title now, really does sound a bit pathetic. Luffy himself said back in Alabasta to Vivi, people die. According to Jinbi, he had never seen Luffy so sad, which is another absurd statement since Jinbi witnessed Luffy's worst phase after Ace's death. So I've pointed out the valid part of Zoro's statement. After all, he's always been like this. Now let's move on to what I think was the swordsman's mistake. I believe that Luffy's sadness is not just because of Vegapunk's death, but also as he failed to keep a promise. If there's one thing Luffy takes very seriously, it's keeping promises. And in his first promise as a Yonko, he wouldn't have fulfilled it. Perhaps this is the main factor that made Luffy so depressed. In summary, in my opinion, I understand Zoro's point of view, but he didn't understand the real reason why Luffy was upset. And what about you? Is Zoro right? Is he wrong? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. See you next time, and thanks.